still got paint on my thing. Oops. I was doing so good not making a mess. And here I am. Oh, mercy. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to work on this commission painting. And, um... It's just living my best life. You got the ways of both worlds. You know what? It does not have to be all perfect. I just need to make it the illusion that it is a river. I've got a lot of blue going on over here. I need to add some dimension. If you guys are joining on, I'm her. Oh, mercy. Working on a commission piece. I'm going to move this down a little bit. I feel like my light kind of blocks a little bit, but... I feel like everything looks blue at this point because I've been messing with so much blue but it's okay mercy oh so I'm glad morning when life is over I'll fly away dry a little bit oh thanks Tiffany thanks thanks this is a commission painting I'm off I, this little lot I've been messing with it I need it but I know it's kind of blocking some of y'all but um yeah this is commission painting going to Jim Pettit um and she gave me permission to uh videotape this so I was I've been pushed and stretched from the Lord to actually start um, videoing, videoing, recording, live streaming, all the things. Um, I paint at home, but I don't record it. I take pictures, but sometimes people be like, what do you do? So here's what I do. So thank y'all. Um, I guess I can kind of give y'all, I don't know if I can flip it over. Hold on. I'm in my office. Okay, there we go. So here is, um, a lot of this is stuff that I've been sent a lot of this has symbolism, what the Lord has set up in Iowa. Pray now, might need one. Hey, let's go. Um, so yeah, from Michigan to the Mississippi Delta. And so um, Lake Hess, Michigan, uh, Lake Michigan. And then I didn't know this, but Lake Michigan, out of Lake Michigan flows the Mississippi River. And so I'm just trying to piece all the different things and all the things and then Kind of added some, I'm doing all, I'm doing the most today because I usually don't paint animals and the Lord's like, you're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. So, um, that is, let me get this kind of fixed here. 
but I've been working on and this I don't want to say live painting I'm painting live but I did a YouTube earlier and for some reason wasn't going to stream to my Facebook at the same time so we are on a Mississippi right now come on somebody mmm mmm one time for the one time mmm praise God that's prophetic I believe everything could be mm, well that's a stretch Things can be prophetic if you really listen with your ears. The Holy Spirit in Iowa. That is so crazy. I didn't even know the Mississippi River flows to Iowa. But then again, it makes sense. Because I always think, for some reason, in my mind, I always think Iowa is so, like, Pacific Northwest. I know that's Idaho. And I should know this because my school is on the border of, like, literally Iowa and Nebraska. Like, when I graduate and get, you know, walk the stage... The actual graduation place is located in Iowa because it's literally right on the line. Interesting on the east border. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So, but yeah. Uh, so, painting some things. Some things I've added. Some things I've taken away. That eagle is really, is really eagling. It's really giving. Caca! It's, yeah, it's, I, I'm proud of this eagle. I ain't gonna lie. I'm really am proud of this eagle. So... It's giving. Um, and I'm actually proud that this like Facebook Live is like showing the whole canvas. Like, God is good. I don't even know another song. Oh, man. Yeah, today is just a chill weekend. Because um, next week it's going to be a... Um, next week is going to be a... Not necessarily a busy week, but it's going to be kind of one of those chill, slow weeks at work. And so, and I've done a lot of housework this, um, this week. So I was like, you know what? Let me paint and go live. And I don't have it all together. I don't have all the tech things I would look. I do. I mean, I don't have all the connectivity, uh, per se that I know I need to have from a tech standpoint, but I got a voice, I got a phone and I got paint brushes and hey, kid. What's up, bestie? Anyways, Candace, um, I need to know the next thing that's happening at the church local to us. If you know what I mean. You know, some people know where I live, but you know where I live. So I need to know the next woman shindig. Message me on that because I haven't filled up my calendar. Anyways, um, that's my ADHD mind because I I passed the Candace. If y'all don't know, Candace is a worship leader. Um at a church really close to me um and she is an amazing woman of god a powerhouse in the spirit okay the woman can sing and pray down and intercede and it's not about the accolades but it's just real recognized real real recognized real and she a real one and um and it's really cool what her church um, is doing for the community and um, that the, the Lord is opening doors for them to minister within the community and it's just amazing it's just I love it every time I get invited out there it's just like I'm so inspired every time I leave um, I, I need to write the blog post I still have it in my notes but I have it um, titled God met me in mascot uh, I went to a women's thing, and um, for those that know me, I live very, very rural, like, rural, and um, thanks, Sarah, thank you, there's the eagle, I'll do another pan view, I'll flip the phone over in a minute, um, but uh, they had a women's conference, and uh, it was just, it was one of those seasons where you're like, Lord, I'm pressing, I'm trying to hear from you, and then God's just like literally through so many different voices through a smile through a hug through welcoming but also just prayer and like with the right word said at the right time and like no one wouldn't do like what I was like going through like or what I was praying for and like God was like I got you and I'm gonna confirm it through another person and I just thought that was like so cool and like I like God met me in mascot when Sometimes we can, like, go through, like, 
lethargic and numbness because we're just like we're so burnt out not burnt out that's the wrong word to say but like when you're going through it, you're going through it. you know what i'm saying you're going through it but let me give you a pan through for those that are requesting of the eagle here is the eagle the eagle um uh, shafar i gotta do the eagle feet so don't judge don't judge this is a work in progress um or work in process in progress a hey, somebody that's a word um so yeah i usually do an underpainting um i like to start with that because it peeks through the colors and all the things and uh i need to do more um foliage over here but i'm just kind of working on one at a time but that is kind of i'm gonna turn it back towards my painting um yeah it's crazy it's god is so good god is so good and i think maybe this is just a lesson a word in this in this season is yes we're in thanksgiving thankfulness okay yeah but how often are we truly being thankful for people that allowing for us to listen to other people that may have a word for us not necessarily like that but like being open to receive are you constantly in a receiving posture it could be a good and a bad thing because when you receive then you get you have to give you have to yield but when you're in those seasons Sometimes we can shut ourselves off to people and we write ourselves, we write other people off unintentionally, you know? And I think that we sometimes have to stop writing people off because sometimes we can miss our blessing because that other person is a vessel that could bless us that we might need something. You know, does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe that's too sociology. Maybe that's too, too, too much. But the, the moral of the story be open to what God has in store. Don't put God in a box. Because he will really wow you. He will really push you, if you allow him to, to the next level. When is the next level? I always heard that people always say this. Next level, next devil, new devil. But I kind of hate that sometimes. It's true, but like, when there's a new level... You got to yield to yourself and you could be your own worst enemy. It's not necessarily a devil. It'd just be you. You know? I don't know. Maybe just too... This, this is Deep Thought Friday. Deep Thought Friday. But today, nothing too profound. Nothing too deep. That's just how my mind works sometimes. I'm just like, hmm, what about this? What about that? But at the end of the, word, at the, end of the day, we always have the word... To lean on to God's presence and are we digging deeper into uh, God's presence and are we earnestly seeking him you know I could tell you like with my husband I like to go I, I like to get out the house I like to go see things because I'm constantly in the house I work from home but like seeking that next I don't want to say next thrill but next like excitement like oh I get to get out the same thing like are we communing with the part? Like, are we excited to meet him? Or do we dread it? Y'all, that's the word for Friday. Friday word. Are we excited to meet him? In the secret place. Because nobody likes to be in private sometimes. Everybody wants to be publicized. Everybody wants to show, oh, I'm praying. Thus says the Lord. You know, you got these false prophets out here on Facebook that they be doing the most. But, like, are we excited to commune with the Lord? Are we excited to... And I'm look, I'm preaching to myself because I... Y'all, I looked at my Bible. I ain't even opening one thing, one one day this week. And I was like, how did how did five days pass by? Like, what, what, what happened? What happened? And there's grace. There is grace. But, like... I'm just as much convicted, like, I'm like, oh, Lord, like, so I, I put some things, like, I'm going to do better on some things of reading, um, the word, because I, make this make sense, how come that every other religion, 
knows their religion, right? Like they know. Not saying that we try to be in a religion because we look, we ain't trying to put, <laughs> we ain't trying to have the 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 ties of religion machine, okay? But hear me out. How come other religions people know it front and back, to and forward, north, south, east, west? But we struggle as the church, the institutional church, the body of believers. We struggle to even open up the word. We can quote Genesis 1 1. We know about if anybody got into the world type stuff, we, we, people be quick to quote Revelations, but Revelation, because it's, the, it's one revelation, the revelation. But like, we know about David, we know about Joseph, we know about Job, we know about Moses, but do we like, do we take time to study? Not only the logos, but the rhema. Like, they'll truly let the Lord speak through us. Also, reading the word with the correcting um, perspective, historical context. Not take things out of context. Like, the Lord's been stretching me. He's been stretching me this year. For sure. And so, it matters because some people... Whoo, I can go there, man. I really could go there. Like... People be quick, not necessarily, and it's not like my church or whatever, but people be quick to be judging, like, oh, women shouldn't speak, women shouldn't preach. But I'm like, y'all be the main one taking the out of context. If y'all say that women can't preach, but then why do we allow, ooh, parents, I'm about to be so mean. Let me not go there. Let me not, let me edify. I mean, it's in the word, but I'm going to edify because I just, you know what I'm saying? You just can't be picking and choosing. Picking and people just be picking and choosing, and I think sometimes we have to be so careful not to treat the Holy Spirit as a candy machine in the sky. Be like, oh, what we gonna get today? Like, you know, like when you married your spouse, if you are married, like you chose you, like I come into partnership, I come into covenant, I choose you. So it's 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 more than. It's more than, like, yes, we accept Jesus into our hearts as salvation, but there's so much more beyond the cross. Like, if there's Jesus, like, he did so much for us to have so much. Wow. Wow. I feel the Holy Spirit on that. That's, that blessed me. He did a lot for us, for us to have a lot. But do we, we have to recognize and walk in the authority in that. And I, I constantly have to be like, Lord, I need courage. I need courage and boldness to stand up for what's right. Because sometimes it's, it's uncomfortable. I'm just being real. Like, not necessarily. And I think it's more like you have to get past the thought of like what people are going to think about you. You know, like you have to get past the. Like, you got to get past, like, people just out here. Because people say, oh, persecution. Like, we in America, we haven't had as much persecution as comparable to other countries. Like, let's be real. But, like, I think that I've had to build thicker skin in this season. And I thought I already had thick skin. And I had to build thicker skin. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I'm trying. I feel like I'm a little bit everywhere, but I'm excited to, for this to come together. But anyways, I didn't come on here to preach because I'm just trying to share just some things that the Lord had just been working on me. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do up there, though. Like, that got to, I got to add some foliage. I got to add some, Lord, I'm going to need you for real. And that gotta be something. I need to add some clouds. Um. Oh, that was gonna be that. What is that thing called? The the little cone rods that look like. Okay, so growing up, when I used to see these things, and I like they're like by a creek or a marsh or something, and you thought they were glorified corn dogs, but they weren't corn dogs. They were little plant like what is what were they called? I don't know. 
conies, not conies. It's a plant, but it looked like a corn dog. Does that make sense? Anyways, that's going to go down here in this section, like as a forefront focal piece. Um, I'm going to give y'all a tour for those that are jo uh, joining in. Oh, y'all going to see my face today. Tails, yes. Uh, so here's that. I'm going to do something up there, probably some foliage to kind of bring it in. Yeah, I'm going to put the little tail, cat, ta cat trail. What is this there? Is it tails or trails? Trails, tails, tails. But yeah, I'm going to put that some there with the deer. I'm still working on the deer. Don't judge me. Still working on the deer because the Lord is pressing, you know, he's stretching me. And that, I think I'm just going to cover that tree up and like add foliage to kind of like tie it in. It's almost like you're looking through the tree opening. Did that, did that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is the first Friday paint with me. Like, this is actually a, this is actually really fun, and not like I mean, I did a I, I did a little sketch earlier of the different things, and then um, I'm just gonna like do some like leave things, kind of like. And I'm just going to paint over that and, because it's going to, I don't know, it's just going to make it look pretty. And sometimes you, when you paint, you just got to, don't y'all love this view? <laughs> it's giving, what that show? It's giving Brady Bunch. Da, 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 da. Okay. I got to stop with my idiot. I can't, I can't, I can't today. I'm doing the most, doing the most. I'm going to try to talk to Tim be like, let's go to Pigeon Forge and drive around and get coffee. Oh, man. It's already 831. And everything over there closes at 9 for coffee. We'll go to the gas station or something. That Casey gas station, though. Let me tell y'all. Go to Casey's if y'all want a large fountain drink. They got them for like 89 cents. And they like route 44 sonic style just fyi i'm not endorsed by casey but hey casey if you want to sponsor me help me pay my student uh tuition and my student loans because you know we don't we don't let the government take pay for our student loans for free anyways uh but anyways let's see so i want to do like a little foliage here and i don't have my okay we're gonna do that right there Y'all, see, y'all didn't know what y'all joined today. <laughs> y'all was like, oh, this Paris, this, she doing the most. I do love this tree right here, and I really don't want to, like, I don't want to cover it up. So, I think I might, I might do, like, something right here. Yeah. That's giving. It's giving God's creation. It's giving... He got up so I can live. Praise the Lord of my soul. Long as I'm breathing. That is not the lyric. Mm. Praise the Lord of my soul. I can't remember that lyric. Save my life. <laughs> it's gonna hit me in the middle of night too. I'll be like, "Oh, that's what that was." That is bread. Praise the Lord. What's everybody doing on Friday night? What y'all doing? Y'all try to stay warm. This weather. Anybody get snow where they at? I only we only got flurries over here. <laughs> I love you too, Sue. <laughs> um, it's crazy. In a couple months, I graduate with my bachelor's. Praise the Lord. God is good. I've kind of just, 
I used to be a very ambitious, I am a very ambitious person still. That's no here, Mirable. I can be quite my goddess a lot. I can't, yes! I was like, <laughs> yeah, the one line I can't remember, it's the one line I need to remember to be quiet sometimes. I can't be quiet. Anyways, um, uh, I used to, um, it was still ambitious, but I, uh, oh, let me use a small brush for that. I forgot. Um, but I decided to slow it down with my studies and cause really, I don't really have to have a bachelor's for what I do. I just usually, I wanted it for management and to go to grad school. Um, so I can be Dr. Pear Strange, but anyways, anyways, no, not for real. Um, because if I wanted to do different management things, if I wanted to go somewhere else, uh, it would be really beneficial. And then I found out that I was able to get some educational help. And so I was like, well, why not? We're not going to waste these benefits. And uh, so I start back on Monday. I'm excited. Which y'all know, I'm constantly learning something. I'm <laughs> Your girl can't be quiet and not learn something. So I, I'm i constantly signed up in something to learn because I just, my brain, that's just how my brain is. Because um, I'm always intrigued with learning. And I think that's a beautiful gift to have. If the Lord bless you to learn and you can learn for free, why not? And you never know. And it's I think it's really cool to see like, the people that God said in my past because I chose to take a certain class at a certain time because I like to learn and it's just really cool um and people are interested and they want to know and I want to know you like the spirit of love anyway sorry I bring it to a random song some song sometimes um that really is how my brain works. Sometimes I wonder why I'm not a composer. Like someone that arranges melodies. I love it. Like I love it. Paris is always learning. <laughs> I am always learning. I know. Probably why I got you signed up for this class. So I've always thought of something. But uh, yeah. I'm, um, yeah. I'm always trying to learn. Um. Because anything that I can ben be beneficial to and contribute to and learn as a skill. Um, because believe it or not, growing up... Where is my yellow? My spoil. Uh, growing up, uh, especially being deaf and hard of hearing, comprehension is actually really hard for me sometimes. So that's why it is hilarious that I love to read uh, and really about reading the Bible. Um because it was actually really hard for me growing up to understand the Bible and to comprehend what was going on. Because I just thought it was too much. Like, I was like, Lord, you're doing the most. <laughs> I really was like, what is going on here? Like, how could I effectively teach? And I think it's just so funny, full circle, how I am, like, older. And I'm just like, you've got to read the Bible. You Like, it's just wild. Like, I thought that the other day. And I was just like, what? This is, hmm. It's great. Look, look, look at the Lord. Look at the Lord. Yes, yes. Oh, this is about to turn really pretty. Yeah, I got to work on the other side, but this side is like really. My poor little easel is like, please stop beating. Please stop. Um. shine upon you and be gracious to you Lord turn me face towards you in and in peace uh, Amen May his favor be upon you in a thousand. Whoa, that's not the lyric. Favor be upon you. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe that is. It's been a while. I usually don't listen to Carrie Joe as much anymore. I mean, I ain't nothing against her. I just, I don't know. I'm in a different... I usually do listen to a lot of, um, what's it called? Uh, can't wait for Travis, oh, not Travis Green, uh, Todd Delaney to drop his new album. Woo! Which, he's a psalmist. Like, if y'all didn't know, Tom Delaney is a psalmist. And I'm so excited, because he actually literally sings out of the Bible. It is just beautiful. And cause I think sometimes with worship music, it's a lot about me center and not Christ center. And there's a time and a place for like, you know, lamenting or whatever. But like, it's just beautiful when you just ask the Lord to like, Lord, I just want to behold you. And I just want to sing to you. And I want to minister to you. And I think that changes atmospheres. It changes situations and it's just it changes your heart and you can't help but just get happy to minister to the lord you know so yeah like and that can be it doesn't have to be a particular genre you know i like i listen to all different you know christian genre that's how i was raised but like i just think that i encourage you like when you go to your places of worship on sunday or whatever day it might be like to stay like lord I want to behold you. I'm not worried about anybody else. I'm not worried about my neighbor to my left of me. I'm not worried about my neighbor to the right of me, behind me, in front of me. I just want to worship you in spirit and in truth. I want to give it my all because he is so good. Like, God is so good. Right. Yes, we have the verses out of the Bible. It's, he's amazing. Like, I think he hasn't one. I think... The new one's coming out. I've seen he's been releasing like clips of it on his Instagram is a uh, Psalm 30. I'm excited about that. And so uh, it's going to be fire. Like I would actually love to go to one of his concerts, uh, worship services. Um, they're just so hard to find. Um, but he's, he's, yeah. You know, they don't, they don't make them like him like anymore. They really don't. Cause all these, whoo. I could go there. I think sometimes some there's honor in the right places, but I think that at the end of the day it's like we have to honor God first. And so but yeah. I gotta get that a little bit something something else, but it's it's okay for right now. I his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me, and I see because the popular part I'm happy, and I see because. I am free. His eye is on the sparrow. And I know. And I know. <laughs> girl, I know. Man. Oh, man. And I know he's watching over me because he's like, girl. I love that you make a drop of noise, but sometimes. Woo. I'd be thinking too much out of my nose, though. Um, man, that was a little, I was a little rough. A little rough around the edges. But it's okay. This is how I am, like, 24-7. Like, I really, this is, this is me. I'm gonna let that dry and then see what that turns out like. That one little, mm, that's, that's not going to do. That's not going to do. We're going to bridge it in the gap. Stand in the gap. Give it something. I don't know why I put that way out there in Timbuktu, but it's, maybe it's meant to be. Paint that uh, blue. Blue. 
Oh, man. This is clean your brush, kids. This is why you put to clean your brush. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. I really need to clean my brush. Like, clean your brush and don't buy new brushes to replace the brushes that you didn't want to clean. That's a word for somebody. A word for Paris. Anyways. Oh. Alright, I guess I can fill this in over here. Oh, no. Um, I need another color. Let's do some greenery. You know what? Let's do some greenery because green there is life more abundantly. There is hope for all to see. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wait. Oh, that's blending really pretty. Yeah, I like that. I like doing two different like colors kind of that's similar but it brings like that dimension depth that's kind of if I have a secret to what I do how I paint this is how if that's not a secret but I'll tell y'all what it is but yeah I like having two similar colors or in the same color family and it just gives it a little bit of depth like see how I do like the blues and so yeah it just the more dimension you have, the more realistic it looks. I'm kind of just avoiding the whole deer part. Um, cause I'm going to, uh, fill that in later. This probably definitely will not be completed tonight, but at least I have the general basis of it, and then I'll do the detail work. So I'm going to go close that way you guys can see it. So like, I just kind of do this and like kind of block things in and then I'll come back and then like finish some detail work with some more like fine things. But right now I'm just kind of like working on dimension and all the things. I got to finish that side of like the foliage and the foliage. I'll probably add more to it, but at least just the background is done. But yeah, sometimes these, especially when it's a big commission, painting it takes a while um takes a while uh because i want to make sure like i'm giving it my best and because sometimes i'll sleep on it and be like mm, i can i can do something different to this or add something to be like what god be like hey do this or whatever but you know um, I need more dark green. Hopefully this is. I don't want to go too down, but then again, well, I probably won't hurt it. That needs to be like more sand, but I just want to block that in. I want to block it in. Where is my white color? You see a lot in it? Oh, good. I 
Alexa just hanging out with her daddy. The child has been extra today. She's at that point where it's almost ready to potty train her. Because she, she just, she's fun. This age is fun. She turns two next Wednesday. So, it's crazy. We gave birth to her at 34 weeks. And the child is vibrant. Love it, though. The Noah is 10. It's crazy. I have a 10 and almost 2-year-old. Can't believe I've been a mama for 10 years. You might hear her be, she might be yelling. You know what, I'm actually, I wasn't going to fill this in, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. One of these days, I would love to have a art store, like thrift store, like a resale thrift store. But also like host classes and different things, like that is like like one of my dreams like a place for like creatives to like have fun and just get like new inspiration that's kind of kind of what I'm thinking but of course money is not cheap money don't come free either so I gotta save for these endeavors and So yeah. If anybody wants to give <laughs> to that endeavor, feel free. Because I have no, I need to figure out where I need to do to start. Um, I mean, I kind of know some uh, things I need to do, but it's just hard finding a a building per se that doesn't have like astronomical rent, like overhead. So. That's the side of that. Oh, that's really pretty. And then I'll do some wildflowers here. I might call it a day, maybe. And then I'll just do foliage there. And then I need to do... I don't know. Maybe just add some more yellows and... Stuff. But here, I'm going to show y'all. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all this finished work when I get done. When I get to the, I might do another live stream or, or I have a picture of it for sure. But so I kind of fill that in the green. I use some green and what is that color? Green and I don't know what that says. Hold on. Aeoli green or something like that. And then, um, so on this green part, I'm going to add some cottontails and wildflowers and maybe another tree but I want to have foliage coming off of this branch and then maybe some more foreground foliage coming off of this branch and then um to work more on the background of the sunset and fill in like the river parts of here and so uh yeah but for the most part I think I'm almost to a stopping point for tonight because I've been painting for a while but I wanted I was going to do like something like simple you know, I can never do something simple. Y'all already know that. So, um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm impressed. I actually like this. And I think sometimes artists, we can be our own, like, worst critic and actually like this. So, I hope, I hope it's good. Um, And add some browns to that tomorrow and bring that in but yeah but yeah um 
So yeah, that is, I'm gonna try to turn that off, see if it, oh, so bright. But yeah, so this is the painting. I gotta finish some things like the eagle feet and, and all the things, but that light really does make a difference because now I can see the paint is a little bit darker and so I wanna add some more brights to it, but yeah, I like it though. But yeah, well, thank y'all for joining me. I'm gonna hang, get off of here and and spend time with the family and all the things. So, but I will get back on another live stream when I start working on it to finish it. So, yeah. All right. Bye.